back to my channel and welcome to another YouTube video. So for today's video I've got a homeware haul. I've been ordering the past few weeks a few things off Amazon, eBay, I've got everything over here which is why I'm looking, um, Desenio, uh, B&M and Dunelm. I think those are all the shops. So let's get straight into the video and I'll show you exactly what I've picked up. Okay, first item we're going to start with, I'm going to do this first because it's big and bulky so I'm going to get it out of the way, but I went on to Amazon and have ordered some wooden shelves. Um, so here, let's see if we can get it all in shot. So this is the shelf, it's a basic wooden shelf. It came with these brackets, so... Ew. The shelf sits on it like that and then the bracket attaches to the wall. These we're going to put in our living room so we can get rid of the chest of drawers. I'll try and insert the picture from the website and see if I can remember the prices. I was looking at a few websites to get these shelves from and they came out really expensive. I think for the size that we needed, some of the shelves were coming out at £80 per shelf. And I think I managed to get these for £40 each, I think maybe a little bit less than that so for the size that they are they're perfect and they were the best price that i could find them at so that was from amazon and i got two of those and they both came with these brackets so that's that. I think I might stick with the shop, so if I stick everything that I've got from Amazon and do that first, so it might all be a bit jumbled in terms of the items I'm showing you, but at least you know what shop that they're from. So sticking with Amazon, the next thing I got was these lights. So they are an LED curtain light. And I'm going to put them in this room, to be honest, along this back wall. So I'm currently in our guest room and we're going to redo the room, give it a bit of a makeover. And I love these curtain lights. I love fairy lights. I think they really warm up a room, make it really cozy. So I've got these curtain lights and they're gonna go on this back wall here. So again, still with Amazon, bit of a boring one, but I've picked up some silver spray paint. I've ordered a new chair to go here, but the delivery is delayed because of the whole situation. But the legs on the chair are wooden and it's not quite the vibe I was going for for this room. So I thought if I got some spray paint, I can spray the legs. So I picked that up from Amazon. And the next item I ordered was a Yankee candle and it is crackling wood fire. So not exactly the scent you'd be going for for this time of year, but, oh, actually. Okay, I was expecting that to be a lot warmer. I think this was on offer, which is why I thought I might as well get it. And even if I don't burn it till later this year, at least I've got something there waiting. So this is the um, Crackling Wood Fire by Yankee Candle. Again, I'll try and insert any pictures or prices or anything like that I can find in terms of what I ordered. I have been collecting these items over the past few weeks to months. So the prices may differ or they may not be available, but I will try and link everything there. I've ordered these off Amazon. They are just spray bottles. I've ordered four of them that one so just basic easy black spray bottles like that okay let's move on to B&M so some did I get no all of this so I went into store for B&M I'll start with the bulkiest so starting with this item I've already put it together because I couldn't wait to get it in my bathroom but it is just a little storage box like this the lid so the lid's got a little I'm sure you've all seen these, a little letterbox type opening. I think this was around 10 or 15 pounds, so relatively cheap and affordable, but it feels really sturdy since I've put it together and this is just going to sit in our bathroom, hide all our cleaning products away so they're easy and accessible, but it doesn't make the place look ugly. So that is the first thing from B&M. So, 
this. This was £5.99 and it is just a silver two heart ornament. And as I said earlier, we're going to be transforming this room, doing a bit of a makeover. And I wanted something to go on the windowsill just as a bit of an addition to the room. Again, a nice boring one, but I've got some of these command hooks. Okay, let's move on to another two few things that are boring that we can breeze on past. We were kindly gifted a barbecue from Dan's family and it could do with a good clean. So I bought the elbow grease oven cleaning kit. That comes with a bag, a bottle and a pair of gloves. So the barbecue itself is lovely, but the grill inside just needs a good soak. So I'm going to put that in. And then I've got this, which is the Dishmatic Scrubby. And it says for barbecues, oven trays and heavy duty cleaning. So I'm hoping if I can give it a good soak, give it a good scrub, we should have a barbecue going by the time the summer comes round. Is summer here? We've had nice weather, but we've still got, hopefully, a few months of nice weather. So you can get the barbecue all cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, then I picked up some Sephora. So this is the one that I usually usually get. It is the um, pet friendly one. And um, so I normally spray this on Herbie's bedding just to keep things fresh and nice. And it is the Green Valley fragrance. So I picked that up. Finally got my hands on the Tropical Twist Sephora. When I was down the aisle with all the Sephoras, I saw the fabulosa which is the and well another version of the flora so it's just a disinfectant that you can dilute but they're a lot cheaper than the floras so if these do the job just as well and smell just as good then i can be persuaded <laughs> to move to fabulosa instead of the flora <laughs> no 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 <laughs> or not oh oh dear oh dear so this is sumptuous fruits oh i can't help but keep on smell smelling it but it smells disgusting <laughs> oh that smells like oh no that smells like a sicky vodka oh no okay not a fan of that definitely not a fan of that one. Oh dear okay so I'm not converted with that one. That is not a good fragrance. But I have also picked up the Black Cherry and Mango Punch. Oh, I don't want to smell them now. <laughs> okay, let's start with this one. Mango Punch. We like a bit of mango. Let's see how this one does. Okay. Okay, that's better. Not brilliant, but better. Okay, that, that one's usable. I can go with that one. The reason I picked this one up, Black Cherry, I love the Yankee Candle scent Black Cherry. That is my all-time favourite Yankee Candle. Absolutely love it. So I thought, Black Cherry, this could be my all-time favourite favorite disinfectant. Oh, I've got high hopes. I don't think I should be going into this with high hopes. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes. Go on, Fabulosa. You've done it for the win. Okay, that's totally made up from that first smell. That smell was gorgeous. Really, really nice. Just like black cherry. Okay, if anyone likes the black cherry Yankee Candle fragrance, try this Fabulosa black cherry that has done it. Perfect. Brilliant. Oh, I'm happy with that now. I'm excited to put that in my bottles. So, finally from B&M. I've never seen these in B&M, so they must be a new addition. But I've picked up some trays. So this is just a flat tray with some handles either side. This was £1.50. So I'm using... Well, these ones I'm going to use in our office drawers. Because we've got stuff in there like batteries pencils pencils like that that end up rolling all across the drawer so i thought this will be quite handy to pop in the drawer and keep everything nice and neat where it needs to be so these ones are going to go in there and then i've picked up this big one exactly the same just the larger style i 
think this one was four pounds if I remember correctly and basically I'm going to put all of the bathroom cleaning products in here so I've got that little caddy box which stays in the bathroom with the products that we're using but then our store and stock of products I'm going to put in here and then pop that in the airing cupboard to keep those nice and neat okay next i'm going to move on to dunelm i ordered some things off dunelm and picked them up from the click and collect service that they do and um, quite a while ago now but they've since opened their stores so some of this stuff i ordered some was in store but again all of it should be available from either so to to kick start this off i had picked up I picked up these two throws. I've already been using this one, which is why the cardboard is off. But these throws I ordered online and picked them up from there, click and collect. So these, this was, these were six pounds. They're 130 centimeters by 170 centimeters. And it's just their soft fleece throw. So I want these to go downstairs i made a blanket ladder which you can watch in a previous video and um, which i'm going to put in the living room and then i've got these throws and a few others that i've already got which i'm going to pop on there so this one was six pounds for they're doing a 50 percent off sale but only on selected items so this one i managed to pick up for three pounds so exactly the same but just certain colors were half price bargain so that is the throws okay i've got a few items which we can whiz through quickly because they're really boring um, so i picked up some pegs need a new sponge for the bathroom and then also picked up some plain white light poles in our bathroom we've got our light and the electric shower so i just bought some new ones of those they've just got the original ones from when we moved in I also found in Dunelm, so the boxes I picked up from B&M, they do them in grey, white and pink, which I've got the grey ones for our office and upstairs in our airing cupboard, but I really wanted the white ones to go downstairs in the kitchen because I've already got a few white boxes, so I wanted to pick some more white ones up to keep everything matching, but a couple of times I've gone into B&M and they never seem to have the white ones available. But Dunelm pulled through. So again, they're exactly the same style. These ones were two pounds and they're probably half the size of the gray one that I shown you earlier. And so I picked up those in white. I've got five of those. Some are going to be used um, under the sink for cleaning products and some are going to be for tablets and bits of food and stuff, I think. So that is those. Next, it is a big black round tray. What I was thinking is just storing my jewellery and some perfumes just out on top. On We've got like a large chest of drawers. So it's plastic on the back. It's shiny plastic on the back. But then, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. It's like a matte material. So that is that. Okay, finally we are coming to an end i've got six more items but they're all similar so i'm gonna call it two and um, i'm really excited to show you these so wow oh i'm quite excited that fits in frame to be honest so this is just a silver edged quite thin basic frame it is 50 by 40 centimeters um, so I have three of these from Dunnell. So these I'm going to put on a wall just over there. I'm looking on it. That's why I'm looking over there. Um, I'm going to put up on the wall in our spare bedroom, along with everything else that I've bought, to judge the room up a little bit. So basically, we've got one wall that's got absolutely nothing against it. It's really plain. It's just plain white. 
and I'd love to have three statement pictures. So I've been, I've already ordered a few things off Desenio recently and I was scrolling through there again, seeing if there was anything that I'd like to go up there. And I found quite a few prints. Um, so I've selected three prints, which the frames on Desenio are rather expensive. So I just searched online for silver frames. There were some cheap ones for Ikea, but their delivery is really expensive. So then I found these on Dunnell. I'll have to look back and see how much they were. I don't know if they were nine pounds each. Six. They were a lot cheaper than anywhere else. I couldn't find any this cheap. So I ordered these online, click and collect, pick them up. Perfect. Um, they were available. I think I had the text. I think I ordered them mid afternoon and had the text by the evening that they were available. It's absolutely perfect. That was brilliant. But now we have the Zenio order. I haven't opened or looked at these yet. I thought I could do it online with you. So I'm very excited to see these and I can't wait to get them up on the wall. Um, so they come rolled up like this um, with the print on. And you just have to peel these off. So I've got them in size 40 to 50 centimetres because, as I said, it's quite a big wall that's got absolutely nothing on it. So I wanted three large statement pieces. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot which ones I've ordered. I'm very excited now. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, before I show you, I went for the Dream, Almost Kiss and Life Is. Um... So let me get them out and I shall show you. So they come rolled up, which is slightly annoying, but as soon as you put them in the frame, obviously the frame holds them down, so it's not too much of a trouble. I suppose it's only if you were just gonna pin them straight up. So I went for this one, which is kind of hard to show you with it, trying to roll and bend, but it is just um, a load of white feathers. Um, with a bit of grey coming through. I don't know if you, is that, see there? It says dream, very small writing, very minimalistic, which is just my style. Um, so I thought this one could go in the middle. Then this is almost kiss, if you wanted to get it. So it is an outline of two people, shoulder to shoulder, just, almost kissing <laughs> um so that is the next one that's gonna go the other side and then oh and then lastly of the prints and the last thing i have to show you in today's haul is life is and it is a scripted quote it's very hard to read i'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that at all but it says life is too short to worry about stupid things have fun fall in love regret nothing and don't let people bring you down so i love the way that this is a you know you've got to stop and read it properly you can't look at it from a glance because of the writing um so that is going to go on the other side so I'm excited to get those put up. But that is everything for today's haul. If you've got any questions about anything that I've shown you or anything in general, then please pop a comment down below. But I think all I have left to say is I hope you're all well. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.